and dry, the new Cadillac ad is revving up the critics. Take a look. Why do we work so hard? For what? For this? For stuff? Other countries, they work, they stroll home, they stop by the cafe, they take August off. Off. Why aren't you like that? Why aren't we like that? Because we're crazy, driven, hard-working believers, that's why. Those other countries think we're nuts. Whatever. We're the Wright Brothers insane? Bill Gates, Les Paul, Ali. Were we nuts when we pointed to the moon? That's right. We went up there, you know what we got? Bored. So we left. Got a car up there, left the keys in it. Do you know why? Because we're the only ones going back up there, that's why. But I digress. It's pretty simple. You work hard, you create your own luck, and you gotta believe anything is possible. As for all the stuff, that's the upside of only taking two weeks off in August. Nespa. Now, critics are blasting that ad, calling it rude, insulting, dismissive, callous. Our Jonathan Honig, though, loves it. Jonathan, why? Neil, it's ter terrific. It's tremendous. I mean, here's an advertisement that actually celebrates Americanism and it celebrates America's essential sense of life, productivity, individualism, self-sufficiency, profit seeking, and yes, enjoyment of the material world. Those are considered very declassé these days, very down. So here's a wonderful ad that actually celebrates America. You know, Neil, America was the only country, the first country that actually invented the phrase to make money. This ad celebrates it, and it's wonderful to see, albeit from Cadillac, it's a great ad. All right. Now, the, the, the thing I kind of enjoyed is how he barely pays attention to his kids. He's so focused on what he's doing. <laughs> Touche. But I, I do wonder if, if, it, if it just feeds this narrative, this view of the 1% that they're just conceited and dismissive and uh, they don't care. Well, they're, they are, they are self-interested, Neil, and that's what America's all about. I mean, what made this country great was that for the first time, you weren't here to serve the king or the czar. You were able to pursue your own self-interest. And how do you do it, as the ad talks about? By dreaming big, by working hard. That's the promise of America. That's the real American dream. Not free health care and free education. But, but isn't right it weird coming... Your own self-interest. I know, but it's weird coming from a, con a company that was bailed out by taxpayers because it couldn't make it on its own. Well... And I think that's the, I mean, it's a great advertising. It's unfortunately right. a, a terrible story when it comes to General Motors. That was a tremendously un-American act and should have never occurred. At least the message they're putting out now, one, is very American, despite the fact that those on the left would chastise it be, as being extreme and smug. Well, uh, I'm sure that isn't going to apply to your movie that's out, uh, Pit Trading 101. What's that about? Thanks, Neil. Yeah, well, back in 1996, I was a very young trader on the floor of the Chicago Mercantile Exchange trying to survive what was a tremendously unusual world. You know, back there, there was 10,000 traders. There's only about 150 left now. So PitTrading101.com is my new documentary film that basically takes you back and puts you in the shoes of a young trader just trying to learn what many people call the most unusual work environment ever. To put it mildly, I look forward to it. And... Uh... You are the embodiment of capitalism, young man. Uh, Thank Jonathan you, Honig.